Hi, I'm the town heathen, and if it doesn't make sense to me, I don't participate in it. One thing that doesn't make sense to me is saying bless you when someone sneezes. If you were to burp and someone had to smell what you just ate, you'd say excuse me. If you were to fart and someone were to smell what you would shit later, you'd say excuse me. If you're unfortunate enough to actually shit yourself and someone should notice, you should probably say excuse me. And most definitely, if you lose at a game of drive through jerk off chicken, you better say excuse me. Alright, let me just stop a minute here to explain drive through jerk off chicken. This is where you go to the drive through you place your order. After they give you your total and you hear the speaker turn off, you whip it out, start beating it like mad. The object is to finish and clean up before they open the window and give you a drink. If you make it there before the window is open, great, it's bonus time. Use it. In all those instances, you say excuse me, but in the one instance where you do the bodily function that is actually probably the most dangerous to others in the room, well, that is aside from the occasional farts that my family has lost cats to, you sneeze and you don't have to say shit. Instead, someone in the room has to compulsively blurt out, bless your gunsuntite, as if to say, I heard that you made a bodily function, and now I'm acknowledging it so I can fit in with the rest of these people. Does it really annoy me that much? Not really. I mean, if you were to say bless you to me, I'd accept it, say thank you. I understand the sentiment, but it doesn't make sense to me, so I don't participate in it. Sometimes I don't participate in things I find demeaning. Now call me frickin' crazy, but uh, when I've been at a fancy restaurant, which I don't frequent, so generally it's at a wedding I'm glad they have alcohol at, or an awards banquet that I'm glad they have alcohol at, or some other place you invited me to to become your captive audience that I'm glad you have alcohol at, this fancy place may have the forks thing going on. I don't mean two forks, but I mean like the five or six forks. I don't know, I don't really care about class. And because I don't have class, I generally grab the wrong fork first. And that's when you hear from across the table, usually uttered by some middle-aged woman with a menial salary and way too much makeup on, that's the wrong fork. You shouldn't use that fork. And that's when I generally become the asshole by reminding this woman that the people that made up those rules wouldn't sit at the table with her peasant ass if they were alive today. When I see modern working class people honoring the traditions of old dead aristocrats who only made up those traditions so that at the dinner table they could spot the person who really didn't belong and make fun of them later around the fire, I find that to be a demeaning tradition. Once you really kind of think about where its roots come from, I don't participate in these things because I don't want to have the guilt of knowing that I helped perpetuate stupid rule upon stupid rule upon stupid custom upon stupid tradition on the generations to come. I think the future is going to have enough problems without having to hold on to the arbitrary rules of dead people. Thanks.